ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम On 21st July 2024 we celebrate Guru Purnima Day that is what we keep on telling celebration we have no idea about celebration why is it so important in the lives of devotees and sadhakas during our hectic life when god made us to pass through so many varying experiences he was also kind enough to bring us in touch with a spiritual preceptor who in his own way made us aware that there is a higher being in us whose presence we are not aware of in period papa's words we are not what we assume ourselves to be so what is our real nature on these directions it is only the spiritual preceptor that help us to travel forward initially when we meet a saint we revere his form we do half a dozen pranams we offer whatever love offerings we have we have a sentimental emotional level satisfaction that is the first stage we go back and when we remember about him present memories will develop us develop in us but then we start thinking why am i revering him am i revering him for the sake of that personality then we come to know that we are revering the ideal represented through that form his all enveloping love his simple way of living his meticulous quality care and concern for others he doesn't keep anything for himself there is no play of ego like that you can start listing these are the things that made us to get in touch with him so from the form we slowly try to graduate ourselves into the commitment for the ideal which that form represents in that process we also revere that form guru purnima offers us an occasion to remind us of this vital aspect as we keep on progressing many realize souls tell us that the guru principle the guru dimension it is to be kept up as much as possible in our daily life not when we go to the guru not when we go to the ashram not when we remember him one swami chidanandji maharaj used to say i must keep on reminding myself i must be what the guru has taught me i must be what the guru was you must make the vibrant spirituality of the guru live within you the sublime idealism of the guru live within you the spiritual teachings of the guru live within you his loftiness and character and conduct should live within you his divine nature and the divine way he lived his life should be relived in you looking at you the world should understand the divinity of your guru if you revere some being you would also wish to carry 
carry out his instructions orders to walk the way he wants you to walk the way that he has shown by his very teachings and his life to live fully in accordance with not contrary to his will that would be the genuine manner of showing reverence in a practical way every time when we act proact react this should be very clear to our mind whether this guru this will be occurred by my guru i slip i forget i fail immediately the commitment will make i i shouldn't have done like that i shouldn't have thought like that i shouldn't have passed judgment on that so that means the guru is guiding us we are we are conscious of the guru's presence within us for that we have to keep on dwelling not on that particular day only in our case beloved papa's universality should become the central theme of our life nothing in terms of individual we all remember you know his words talk in terms of universal not in terms of individual think in terms of universal not in terms of individual do in terms of universal not in terms of individual this is the crux of papa's prop, uh, philosophy so when we revere when we offer our flowers it should not be a physical act with a prayer your universal approach your universal outlook your universal perception should sink into me so that all my thoughts all my words all my deeds bear the stamp of this universality and then you provided us with the holy mother param pujya krishnabai the moment we remember how do i live according to her life she was an embodiment of absence of otherness unconditional love because everybody is her children she was the mother of all so when i react as i said proact act this should be writ large then only my reverence to the physical form of the guru becomes complete and then again papa blessed us with puja swami sachidanand ji contact with us the moment we think about puja swami ji the self effacement you know that innocent child like behavior so from the form we are trying to graduate ourselves to the ideal and don't think that we should leave the form we revere that form so we get it's a big a constant reminder when we look at the uh, images of our gurus we remember these ideals and then not to limit this ideal is not limited to any form ideal is everywhere ideal is there in the every form of guru that is why papa keeps on telling us guru never dies he has been with us he is with us through so many forms he has given this ideas to us so today we are making a resolve a, a firm determined resolve kindly ensure that all my thoughts words and deeds are in line with these ideals whenever i go off the line kindly pull me up put me on the rails in fact the guru purnima the vibration that we get on the guru purnima debate has to be sustained in and those who are coming to ashram they have got the privilege that uh, immediately after the solo ramnam in the morning we spent about guru pur guru stuti we recite that's all it's a ritual but now from today onwards we the moment we remember about guru stuti all these thoughts should well up that is why puja mata ji included it as the third item of the daily sadhana in the ashram you all know that it starts with vishnu sahasranam 1008 names of the indwelling lord and then when i absorb it i should be concentrating on one line 1008 we have done you know 
one line, so one Ram Nam, solo Ram Nam for half an hour. And immediately after that, we start this Guru Stuti. So the relevance of Guru Stuti is there, light in the morning. So that it is not a one-time affair or a yearly one's affair. It has to be sustained, all the ideals. So we pray to Papa to bless us with this kind of mindset where every day before we get into any activities, kindly make us to pray from the bottom of the heart that all my thoughts, all my deeds, all my words that come out in the course of my common run of life are in conformity with your teachings. Universality, absence of otherness, self-effacement. If these three come to us, we are really prostrating, we are really revering, we are really honoring, we are really paying our homage to our Gurus. Hari